What is up y'all? This is JT and I'm gonna do a quick little demonstration of the R86011. This is the Octane Rigid 4 speed impact, the auto mode, the 1, 2, 3. The auto mode is amazing. It'll rip the lugs right off and I'll show you that. And when you go to tighten them back on, it just barely puts them on but sometimes it actually puts them on all the way up to like 100 pounds but you'll see that and what I did I tried to film this before and I used a 4 amp hour this is a 3 amp hour 3 amp hour octane battery that came with the tool this is a 4 amp hour battery but first I wanted to show you this now just listen Now just to make sure we do this, we'll put it in three. Now listen to the note. Voila, we got a four amp hour. Now listen to the note. Oh, maybe I was wrong. I don't know if the three amp hour is the same output power wise as the 4 amp hour they should both be fully charged so maybe that's what it was when I tested it this might have been dead but it seemed like it spun faster so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure these are torqued down to 110 maybe off by a hair but 110 that one for sure is I don't know why this socket's so hard to get off here I'm trying not to ding my fender up for sure oh hit my fender it's always good to check your lugs anyway That one wasn't actually at 110, that moved a little bit. Now we're gonna steal the socket. Now, uh, a lot of people are complaining about the hog ring versus the detent. And I haven't had too much trouble with it other than the fact that I can't see while I'm holding this to line it up. Once you get it lined up, it just pops right on, and I can get them off, so I know that's not a problem. But the last time, I put it in one. This is auto. This is one. And they were torqued to 100 foot-pounds on a 95 Eclipse, and it was able to pull them off on speed one. So let's see if it'll do it again. Speed one. 110 so that is awesome and I can show you this not just a fluke there's two I don't want to remove too many at least have two sitting on there and then let's let's show you auto mode it's pretty sweet it ramps up from a slow speed and then it goes full bore in uh, reverse full bore in reverse and then when you go to tighten it watch my finger and watch the lug as soon as it senses resistance it basically stops going and uh, one thing I did notice is these are rusty. They're really rusty. Like, I don't drive this car a lot. Like, all the parts are rusted. Um, 
when it starts to sense the rust on auto mode, it'll actually stop the machine. So it's pretty sensitive. But you saw me auto torque those and then ha I had to hit them again. But watch this, if I can get the socket off this time. Sometimes it's hard to do. It's really not hard to do if I had both hands. Just pull it off. See, just pull it right off. All you gotta do is hold the tool still, and you're good. And then we'll torque these back on. And let's just see what it torqued them at. Now I hit the auto stop on uh, the rust spots, and then I had to hit it again, so it tightened it a little bit, but watch this. Almost exactly, it moved a fraction of a little teen tiny little bit, and then stopped for the uh, torque. Yeah, I know, I'm not doing the start pattern because I don't want to hit my fender. Basically, stopped it at 110. Some of them move ever so slight. That one moved a little bit, but it's at 110. So that is awesome in the auto mode. Now I wouldn't trust that necessarily ever. Always torque. Because I used to work at a tire shop <coughs> and uh, somebody didn't properly torque their lugs on and the customer's wheels fell off. At least that's what he claimed. But we don't know the truth. So let's test the three amp hour and see if it'll still do it in speed one. All right, let's do the magic. Poof, three amp hour, rigid. Slide this socket back on. It's, this is only a pain to deal with if you don't have both hands. So we're in speed one. And obviously I was going the wrong direction the first time. It's going the right one this time. So here we go. 110. 110 foot pounds. And no, I didn't do any trickery. And that's probably way too tight. I'll have to loosen it with my torque wrench and uh, readjust it. But I tightened it all the way in one. Let's see if it'll pull it back off. Yep. Now that's awesome. So if you find out how much torque speed one has, you know, you're working at a tire shop, whatever, you could just buzz these on just like that and uh, pretty much be good. I don't like these sockets, the way they grip the lug nuts. You gotta get a good set of lug nut removing sockets and they slide on, they're, they're strong, they don't break. But yeah, that's amazing. Even with the three amp hour. And I could have sworn this was gonna be weaker with the three amp, but it did its job. This is a good tool, get one of these, throw it in your trunk. And uh, as right now, the sale is two three amp hour batteries with a charger, the, the Bluetooth Octane battery. This is an Octane tool. And the whole kit is $149 and some odd amount of cents. So just, just say 150 at Home Depot. And then register your tool immediately when you get it. Oh, I got it dirty. Register your tool immediately when you get it so you don't forget. Get that lifetime warranty. Anything ever goes wrong with this, take it back up there. Or if they'll send you to a repair shop, they'll let you know. But that's pretty much it. And uh, see if I can get the socket back off. Maybe if I hold it with my legs. See, it's not that bad. Once it gets worn in a little bit, It'll be fine. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.